Hey everybody, it's Carm here, coming to you on a Tuesday afternoon. Well, for those of us who saw uh, Derek's uh, video earlier today, uh, learned of the passing of another, yet another musical innovator, uh, Dieter Mobius, uh, one half cluster, uh, one third of Harmonia, and uh, many numerous other collaborations, uh, passed away yesterday at uh, 71. Uh, I've been a fan of Cluster myself since probably about 1996 or so. I'd learned of them through uh, Brian Eno, or the collab their first collaboration, uh, Cluster and Eno. So uh, yeah, it was tough. It was tough hearing that today. Although, I mean, hearing it from Derek, someone who's who, you know, he did a beautiful tribute. You know, someone who meant their music meant so much to him and his own evolution. It, it certainly did for me. So it was a little more comforting uh, hearing it that way. So I just wanted to come on and uh, just uh, you know, show my own appreciation, uh, show a few things. I just grabbed a, a couple handfuls of CDs. I've been hugely, again, I've been hugely into them since then. I mean, I'd have to say they're right up there uh, as far as groups with uh, Tangerine Dream and uh, Oregon, as far as just favorite groups. And uh, uh, along with uh, Dieter Mobius, it was Hans Akeem Redelius, uh, who's still making music now. Uh, the two of them, and then uh, in harmonia with uh, Michael Rother uh, from Noi. So uh, yeah, I'll start in just showing a few a few clusters. Yeah, when I heard them back in '96, I mean, it just it resonated with me right away. There was like a real, there was a very a very experimental, very innovative, very distinctive, but also a great deal of humor and whimsy I found in their music. Uh, this is a very early example of them. Uh, 1972, I think this was, uh, Cluster 2, yeah, from 72. This was a more uh, uh, darker, experimental soundscape. Uh, not long after, they collaborated with uh, Kamrad Schnitzler early on, and you could kind of hear that, still hear that in the music. I'm uh, not going in any particular order here for this. Uh, Japan, 1996, uh, you know, still together after so many years. And, uh, I think they went through periods where they played. It was kind of off and on for a while, and this is when they were back on for uh, some time during the 90s. But very nice. Uh, Cluster 71. I think this is their first proper one. Um, just the two of them. Uh, Mobius and Rodelius. See the, the note there. Yeah, great, uh, again, great uh, dark soundscapes. A very... I think they were really quite innovative in so many areas of electronic music, uh, maybe even techno to some degree. Uh, cluster with a K. Uh, this is with uh, Comrade Schnitzler. Very, very heavy, dark stuff. I remember I got this in the pretty early on, maybe around 97 or 98. Very, very heavy, dark stuff. Uh, cluster, Zukuzite. Uh, this is really uh, a really fun album. I think this is when their the whimsy really kind of comes into the group uh, at this point. It's uh, 1974, and there is a uh, uh, Mobius sit seated on Rodilis's lap. But yeah, this is really uh, almost uh, uh, pop-like in a way. I think their sound changed a bit uh, after they met uh, uh, Michael Rother in, uh, in uh, Harmonia. And it became you know more melodic, a little more accessible, but still uh, you know very vibrant and challenging. This is uh, Qua from 2009. I believe this is the last time the two of them, Mobius and Rodelius, uh, recorded, uh, to my knowledge. I know Rodelius. He continued. I think Mobius left soon after this, and uh, Rodelius continued. He just changed it from a C to a Q, but it was still, you know, just cluster you know, with the different uh, new members. Uh, Soe Soso, it's a personal favorite of mine from uh, 76. I think this came right around the time, or maybe just after Cluster, cluster and Eno, which I, I, couldn't, I couldn't find for this at the moment. But yeah, this is a, also add to a list of groups I want to do a proper profile of, you know, just get everything together. Yeah, beautiful, pastoral, uh, you know, whimsical, uh, but still, uh, you know, still experimental and uh, very organic. That's another thing about their music. It's very, very natural sounding uh, electronic music. 
uh, Grossus Wasser. As Derek pointed out, it's uh, like the cover, you know, very minimal. You kind of uh, you kind of fill it in. The music has a certain ambiguity, which you kind of have to meet it halfway, you know, to appreciate it. But uh, yeah, just uh, excellent stuff. And uh, first encounter tour, 1996. I believe, that, yeah, this was of their first tour uh, in America. And uh, I got into this one pretty early on. And very uh, or experimental, you know, nice uh, soundscapes. And got a few harmonias here. Yeah, Derek uh, raved about this one. I haven't listened to this one in quite a while. This is, uh, I believe this is their first together. Yeah, 70, November of 73. I, th I think this is the first uh, recording of them together. Uh, Mobius, Rodelius, and uh, Rother. Yeah, excellent stuff. See, it's unique hearing them all together. Uh, Deluxe, their second one. Yeah, more of the same. Very nice. It's a very, very distinctive group sound in tracks and traces. I think it's kind of a compilation in which uh, Brian Eno is also on himself. Heard this one early on and uh, you know, hadn't uh, revisited in a while. You see just a few, uh, got some of his solo albums and collaborations. Yeah, Mobius collaborated with a lot of people outside of Cluster and uh, always had a, lent a very distinctive voice to it. Uh, Mobius and Plank, a great con, late great Conrad Plank. Uh, I love anything they've done together. I think this is where, uh, you know, kind of a lot of the quirkiness of uh, you know, all these artists comes through. You know, very Again, it kind of borders on pop, but there's always that, you know, the kind of off-kilter aspect, which is so much fun. Uh, Mobius and Plank in Material. Uh, Rasta Kraut, Pasta, and Material. Yeah, it's a two, kind of a twofer on one CD. This one's particularly it's it's bizarre in a really a really fun way. Just uh, you know, it's like another another musical language, which you know, uh, it's really rewarding though. If, you know, if you can get into it, uh, Mobius and Beerbohm, double cut. It's one of the earliest ones I got of uh, Mobius outside of uh, of Cluster. This is a real nice dark nocturnal. Again, I guess you could call it proto techno. Although I'm no no techno expert, but it, you could hear, uh, you know, the innovations there. Really like the uh, the fourth cut, uh, Doppelschnitt, long cut there. Uh, Mobius and Neumeyer, live in Japan. I might have showed this before. I got this not too long ago. Yeah, it's very, uh, I love this cover too. The cityscape there. Uh, yeah, Neumeyer's patented drumming and, uh, and Mobius, uh, very distinctive, uh, electronics there. I think this is from O2. And a few uh, Mobius solo. Uh, Tonspern. In my opinion, what should be played on uh, on pop radio, or, or what should be more accessible to uh, to listeners on radio. You know, very short, kind of punchy tunes, tightly constructed, but uh, in a very personal language. The thing with, when you hear their solo albums, of uh, Mobius and Rodelius, you could really kind of hear each of their place in the group. Like Rodelius is more of like the melodic, more lyrical, whereas I think uh, Mobius is more, uh, has almost kind of a mischievous, playful uh, approach to the, exp you know, to uh, electronic experimentation. You know, very distinctive. Uh, Blotch is a little more recent, I think it's from 2000. Uh, you know, it's there's the melodic and rhythmic aspects of it are more implied than overtly stated, but uh, it really is kind of like it could almost be like pop music in another, you know, in another language. But uh, you know, very worth very worth checking checking out. And I know he was active right up until the end. I think he may have put out an album not long ago. Uh, Nurton. He's a little more recent, two thousands. There he is, uh, more recently. And I know there's a documentary, uh, I think it's, it might be Krautrock and the Electronic Revolution, something like that. And he's on there, both him and Rodelius are on there a great deal, you know, talking about uh, the scene at the time.
And there's a soundtrack by Mobius from 1986, Blue Moon. Again, very lot, of, very short pieces, kind of ambiguous, ambiguously melodic and rhythmic, but just very uh, quirky. And out of all these different artists that I show over, you know, over time, he's the hardest really for me to verbalize. I mean, you just you have to hear it for yourself, but uh, yeah, very worthwhile. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to come on real quick and. Uh, show some of these and uh, I just share my appreciation yeah just a, a remarkable artist uh, both him and Rodelius again and you know that whole scene uh, hearing them at the time really it opened up a lot for me as far as uh, other kinds of electronic music and you know that just that sort of expression so uh, yeah I again as Derek said you know highly recommend if you're not familiar with either one of them uh, and again Mobius for if you're coming from maybe like a more pop background or a more, you know, maybe even like dance music, he'd be someone to check into because I think he was really, uh, you know, very innovative and really inspired a lot of people, probably whether they know it or not. Maybe if they just heard it off of something, it uh, it stays with you. And that's, you know, that's a real hallmark of uh, his music, and, you know, all of their music. So, uh, yeah, rest in peace, Mobius, wherever you're at on the other side. Uh, you know, still, still creative and... Uh, this music, I, I agree, will definitely uh, definitely live on. You know, it's, it stood the test of time for the last over 40 years, and you know, I think it will for a long time. So, uh, yeah, be well worth your while to check them out. So, uh, yeah, that will do it for this time around. So, uh, I hope we're all well, and uh, yeah, yeah, check them out. Well, until next time, peace, love, and joy.